Good evening and welcome to the news tonight at 6. I'm Simon, a translator who works for the UK and US military forces in Afghanistan, has told ITV News he feels abandoned by the West as the Taliban continue to rule the country and time is running out to complete evacuations within the next few days. The man, who ITV News are not naming due to safety concerns, said Western forces should have tried to stay longer, they should have tried harder to get the civilians out. His comments come as the Foreign Secretary has repeatedly refused to say when evacuations from Afghanistan will end and would not rule out reports that the rescue mission could cease within 48 hours. Dominique Raab told IOTV News the UK would use every hour and day remaining to evacuate British passport holders and local allies, but would not confirm whether flights extracting civilians would end several days before the official deadline. Another news, Love Island fans have worked out what Faye Winter said to Teddy Sauce during the final. Before Millie Court and Liam Reardon were crowned the winners, the finalists were lined up in a row to see who had come in fourth place. An excitable Teddy waved to the camera when it went on him and Faye, but she seemed to tell him off, which wasn't picked up by their microphones. Promoted stories, but viewers believe Faye asked him why he was waving, as they took to Twitter to criticize her for trying to stifle his excitement. One fan tweeted, Why are you waving? Even in her final moments Faye is insufferable. Next tonight. Rod Stewart has revealed that his heartbreaking split from Penny Lancaster was the inspiration behind one of his hit songs. The love song was recorded by the 76-year-old Rocky to honor his third wife Penny, and their two-week separation was the motivation behind the tune which was released on his 2013 album, Time. The pair began dating in 1999 and went on to share two sons, Alistair, 15, and Dayton, 10. And finally, Sport. The Covid Club vs Country Crisis escalated today as FIFA President Gianni Infantino revealed he'd written to Prime Minister Boris Johnson, urging him to relax Britain's quarantine regulations for footballers selected to play in World Cup qualifiers in red list countries. In a statement Infantino said he had appealed for the necessary support, in particular, so players are not deprived of the opportunity of representing their countries in qualifying matches for the FIFA World Cup, which is one of the ultimate honours for a professional footballer. Against FIFA's instructions Premier League clubs agreed between themselves not to release any players for these matches. The unanimous decision followed the British government's refusal to relax the rules that would require players to self-isolate in a designated hotel on return to the UK and as a result missed two rounds of Premier League fixtures. Now, Lee has your weather.